Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I just started recording with my massive tongs. Um, yeah, today is a really exciting day because we are repotting even more cactus. I have shopped my home interior and exterior for pots for this because I didn't really feel like going out and getting more pots if I knew that I had some around here. So I had to do a little bit of emptying, but a lot of my fall display outside is like dead. So <laughs> as it is winter now, so I was able to harvest some pots from that situation. So anyway, I'm really excited to get today started. This video is also sponsored by Tasteify. We will be talking about them a little bit later. We're gonna get started here. And I think I'm gonna start off with what would be easiest and that would be this one right here. Now this one poses an interesting issue because uh, one or a few of the pieces have died and like rotted off. So I wanted to show you, where are my shears? So I wanted to show you what I do in this situation because one of the pieces can still be salvaged, um, but it's just sort of hanging on by a thread. And I can see that it's beginning to hollow out on the inside. So all I'm going to do, I'm gonna bring it up closer so that you can see sort of what we're rocking with. But you can see that it's like brown at the tip there or at the bottom. So pretty much what I'm gonna do is, <laughs> these tongs are a lot bigger than last time, so I'm trying to figure out that part of this too. But I'm basically just gonna cut like above where I see existing rot. And I'm gonna look, and it looks great. See, that's nice and light green. So we cut off all the rot. There's definitely still a chance that this piece is not gonna make it, but it's a chance I'm willing to take. I'm gonna try to, you know, see what I can do for it but this piece is done. These two pieces are totally fine. Um, I, I don't really know why it ended up rotting, possibly because it was cold by the window. I'm not exactly sure. We are going to just separate out these, these two pieces that are still good and then just repot it normally. And I brought this pot for it and I actually got this from an estate sale over the summer. And I have found estate sales to be such a great place to get pottery and things like that. Like actually at this estate sale, I also got some planters that were actually just like planted for the season already. And then obviously with it being an estate sale, like the owner passed away. So um, everything was being sold pretty much as is. So I was able to score some planters that already had plants in them and sort of let them live on in my landscape after the original owner had passed away, which is definitely sad, but I'm glad that I could give them a new life in my garden. <laughs> I cut away about half of that root ball because half of the plant died. So I don't need all of those roots. I'm fairly certain that that was a good decision. So, um, oh, I need to put some soil in the bottom of the pot, of course. There we go. And then for this baby piece, normally I would let it callous over for a couple of hours before I put it in the soil because you don't want it to absorb moisture too fast and end up rotting it again. But because the soil that I'm using is dry, and I know it is, I'm just gonna put it in the soil and then wait like a day to water it. And it should be fine. But basically what I showed you for how to like cut off the rot, it's exactly how you would propagate a cacti too. Like if, for example, I wanted to propagate this, like I would just cut it off where I wanted to cut it off, let it callous over for a little bit and then pot it into a pot. And it takes like, I would say, I'm not gonna give you a, an exact number, but it, it takes most of the time. I've never had a cactus not take when I did that. Like, I don't know, I just feel like they're extremely easy to propagate. So definitely worth trying if you want, but you should know that if you cut it off, like with certain cacti, like if you cut this one off right here, it's gonna take a long time, but it will eventually branch but it's never gonna look like this nice column ever again. So you kind of have to be careful like which ones you propagate um, cause not all of them are going to be like, you know, an aeroid and just 
continue growing normally. Is there, okay, yep, yeah, I knew it. There's a piece of cactus in my pants because as soon as I leaned over, I felt it. Okay, this one is like proving difficult to get this to stay up. There we go. She is repotted. It's like a cute little trio, like a very small third one. <laughs> it originally came with four and now has three. That's okay, we'll take it. So as I mentioned before, this video is sponsored by Casetify, which is the world's most popular tech brand known for their protective phone cases and global collaborations. So today I'm doing a little shopping spree for my family because what better a gift to give than a new phone case? So let's go on a little shopping spree and see what we can find. So today I'm shopping for my dad, mom, and sister. My mom really likes florals and I think that she would really love this case with all these cute flowers on it with the clear background so that you can still see her pretty phone color. And then for my dad, my dad is a little bit clumsy just like me. So I'm going to get him the clear bounce case which is a really really great phone case from caseify it is drop test approved up to 21 feet so anytime he's up in a ladder or doing anything like that if he drops his phone it'll be okay and then for my sister i'm just getting her a completely clear case because i think that she likes to put like little photos and stickers and stuff in her phone case to customize it even further for herself so i think this will be a really great option for her was that the doorbell I think I need to go check the door and see if I have a package. <laughs> well, if it isn't my lucky day, I have a package from Case to Buy with all of the cases that I just ordered. Ooh, wow. Okay, so this one is for my sister. We got the clear case. This one is for my dad. We have the clear bounce case. And then for my mom, we have the beautiful floral case. So Case to Buy not only has phone cases, but they also have fun phone accessories. I have this really beautiful gold chain and it basically turns my phone into a little crossbody <laughs> and I can wear my phone around without having to carry a purse because I really don't like carrying a purse. And they also have really cute phone charms that you can just wrap around your wrist so that you can have your phone that way too. So if you are interested in giving the gift of a stress-free phone experience with a new case to buy phone case, you can go to the link in the description box below, case to buy.com slash plans for 15% off your order. Honestly, I think functional gifts are some of the best and a phone case is a really great functional gift. So definitely check them out in the description box below. What should I do next? I feel like I wanna do one of these like single solid ones. I guess I'll do this one. This is a Euphorbia uh, Snowflake, I think. And I got this one in Arizona as well. I think it was like $15. Super good price. Oh yeah, 15. It says it on the pot right here. Oh, this is nice soil. It's very chunky. You can see that it falls away from the roots like very quickly. I like that a lot. Okay, so for that root ball, this is a really fun pot. I got this in Chicago. I was visiting the pole. I think this is going to be too small. Oh, actually, I think it's going to be a good size, but not as deep as it had before. So I don't know. I mean, it's standing up pretty nicely, but I think it needs something else. Darn, this would have been really cute for it. I don't know if I'm going to be able to use this one today. We'll have to see. I guess this would be like the next best option. This pot just seems like really big for it, but I'm going to reuse like basically all of this soil and then go from there. But I think this is going to be the best option that I have because the other one is just a little small and I don't want to have to repot this <laughs> super soon. I said this in the last video as well when I was repotting cacti, but um, make sure that you are tamping down this tank's cactus mix really well because it is very buoyant so if you're tamping it down it'll hold that cactus in place super well or in this case a euphorbia um, if not it might flop out or something like that if it's not secured well enough okay there we go it's not perfectly centered in the pot which like it doesn't bother me right now but it might later i'm not really sure but it looks good and it should be in this pot for like at least a couple years okay the next plant that I want to repot, I think is going to be these three. And 
Man, I want to repot this, but I kind of just don't want to at the same time. I'm going to put them in this pot. I feel like, oh gosh, I feel like this one is gonna be a good size for it. I hope, fingers crossed. Let's get some soil in the bottom. I'm dropping everything. <laughs> These might be a little bit difficult to repot. I'm not sure. Oh, okay. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna plop it right in. Oop, too much soil on the bottom there. Oh God. I'm really trying not to damage it. It's a little, I mean, not, not that it's sensitive, but I kind of have to squeeze hard because it's a little heavy. Maybe I could do one of these around the soil ball. Okay, no, <laughs> too top heavy. Okay, there we go. You won't be manhandled anymore. See how easy it is to repot plants when you have the right size pot for them? <laughs> I'm gonna keep that in mind for future because I'm always repotting plants <sighs> with the wrong size pot. <laughs> Uh, to be honest, I feel like that's all that I'm gonna be able to get to because the only pot that I have left is a really small one and like a really big one. So I, yeah, I just don't think that that's gonna work for this. So it needs another pot like about this size to make that work. So unfortunately, I think I am gonna have to go shopping for that. Although I don't want to, I think I'm gonna have to. So stay tuned. I am gonna be going to Helmy's later this week because I'm gonna be decorating my patio for Christmas because I actually wasn't going to because we're gonna be like not in town for Christmas. So I'm like, do I really need to go all out? I don't know. I saw Laura from Garden Answer. I saw her decorate one of her patios and she put like two really cute Christmas trees out front. And I think that would be really cute. And even if they died, they'd still look pretty nice through the winter time. Um, just to have something in my front planters because they currently have dead mums because it's been very cold. So I would rather have something like that than nothing at all. So I think I'm gonna see if I can go to Helmy's and see what they have as far as like garlands and maybe mini Christmas trees, I don't really know. But I'll probably also go to Lowe's and places like that to see what they have too. But probably I'll just, I'm just looking for like two, three foot trees or something like that to put out in front. So I'm gonna have a video of that whole process. So stay tuned to see how I decorate my patio for, well, it's not even a patio, it's just like my front door. So how I decorate my front door for Christmas and if you wanna see other holiday related content, I have a few holiday videos going up on my um, vlog channel. So I have a decorate with me going up relatively soon. I'm still in the process of filming that. And then um, up already, I should have a holiday DIYs video where I show you how to do three different Christmas DIYs or holiday themed DIYs. They're not exactly Christmas only. Um, so yeah, if you're interested in that, if you're interested in any of my other hobbies, sometimes I get comments on my repot videos where I'm a lot more chatty and I talk about how I have other hobbies. I will get comments of people being like, I'd love to see your other hobbies. Well, I have a second channel dedicated to that kind of stuff. So if you are interested in seeing what I get up to if I'm not doing plants, which right now I'm not doing a ton with plants because I'm not really... <laughs> excited by plants right now. Um, my second channel is very, it's a very fun place to be right now because I have a lot going on over there. And I, I tried to put out more vlogs during the holiday season because I like Vlogmas, but that's a lot of work and I can't commit to it. So I do like maybe once one vlog a week over there, which is not like that's way more than I normally do. So anyway, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to check out Casetify for this holiday season if you're gifting and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.